Good morning. It is Thursday. It's a non-working day for me. I've just spent the best part of the last couple of hours uh, editing. So my vlog is now uploading. I'm bleary eyed. I've still got my spot star on. Stayed on all night. Uh, still in my pyjamas. What time? I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about nine o'clock. And I'm going to go and get dressed in a minute. The problem is Dan is back to work today. He had the last three days off as annual leave. But he's back to work today and he works in our bedroom. So, and he's got a lot of meetings. So I have to time getting dressed with when he's not on a meeting. Because <laughs> my wardrobe is behind where he sits. And I don't think he'd appreciate me creeping behind in my pyjamas to get something out of my wardrobe. So I'm going to get myself dressed when I can, when there's a gap in his schedule. And then I have a list. I, have, I had to write myself a list when I was going to bed last night because I knew that I, when I woke up, I would have no idea what I was doing today. My first thing on my list is edit. I've done that, I can tick that off. This is separate to my master list, by the way, my uh, list that I have, my planner that I have in the kitchen. Although I am gonna transfer some of this onto there. It's just that I wrote this when I was in bed last night just so I could get it out of my head. Uh, and then at about midday, I've got to drive over the bridge. Uh, so when I say the bridge, I mean the QE2 bridge over the River Thames to the other side, to Essex, to Lakeside, to pick up Phoebe. She, she was on a sleepover last night for a friend's birthday. And then today they've gone for an escape room. So I've got to go and pick her up from Lakeside. I wonder if I might go a bit early and have a little mooch around Ikea. I haven't been to Ikea in ages maybe maybe not and then once Lily is up we've got to go and pick up my tripod from her college where it's in her locker because she borrowed it on Monday and had to leave it there because uh, she was doing some filming and needed my tripod so we need to go and get that then she and I have got a, a quick appointment then I'm dropping her at her boyfriend's for three and then between three and three thirty I've got to get from where her boyfriend lives to the next couple of towns over to go to uh, a bakery where I've got a magic bag from, a uh, Too Good To Go bag. Uh, if you're not familiar with the app, it's called Too Good To Go. I believe it's worldwide and you pay anywhere between two and 10 pounds for leftovers from at the end of the day. So the bakery that I've got one from today is three pounds. I've only ever managed to get one bag from them before. They are so popular and it was probably the best magic bag we've ever had. So I managed to get one yesterday. So we'll go and collect that and see what goodies we have in there. Maybe there might be something decent in there, which means I won't have to make myself a sandwich for lunch tomorrow and I can just take one with me. That would be nice. Uh, and that's it. And by then um, it'll be late afternoon. And at some point I need to fit in a good walk get out and also tidy up my absolute tip of the house. It has been neglected. And that is my list for today. Right, let's go and see if I can sneak in and get dressed. I am at the Lakeside Retail Park. I've just been to have a look in Go Outdoors, which was really good for their range of things. And I tried on some walking trainers. I want to get some lightweight ones for summer because I've noticed that my fantastic Merrill ones that are waterproof are starting to make my feet feel a bit hot now that the weather's warming up and it's not as wet. So I want to have a pair for summer as well that's lighter and not waterproof. So I tried a few on, but there weren't, mm, yeah, none that I really loved. Although there were some good prices, but then other things were overly expensive. Then I went into the Adidas outlet. That was a huge disappointment. Don't really like Adidas stuff that much. Um, and also the range of stuff for women was far outstripped by the stuff for men like the like the the shoes and trainers particularly i would say it was about 80 percent men's not a good show so we've also got sports direct decathlon and nike night here as well so i think i'm going to go over to decathlon and then nike 
I think that's my plan. I've no idea how to do that though. I'm going to put it on my sat nav, but it's a bit of a maze over here. So we'll see where we end up. So the Nike shop that used to be a massive Nike shop here is now a Sports Direct. I didn't realise that, so I had a nice little trip around Lakeside. There is a Nike shop, but it's in the shopping centre and I don't really want to go in there just yet. I'm picking Phoebe up from Marks and Spencers. So I think what I'm going to do is, I don't need to be there for about an hour, but I'm getting quite hungry, so I'm wondering if I'll just go over there and park and grab myself something to eat in the car. I'll just show you though what I bought. So I went into Decathlon, let me just take this off, I'm boiling. Ugh. I'm dressed by the way in my walking top because I couldn't get to my wardrobe because Dan was on a call until like for ages. So I thought I keep my uh, walking bits in a drawer that's not behind where he works. So I just thought, oh, I'll just put that on. I'll need to wear it later anyway. I had a look at their walking shoes and I tried them on and I walked up and down the little ramp thing that they provide for trying them on. There was loads of information in Decathlon as well about all the different types of shoes, what they're designed for, um, the, the level of use they're designed for. And I actually went for a pair that were about 44 pounds, which considering I paid over a hundred pounds for my Merrells, is amazing time will tell if I'm gonna get what I pay for but they're very comfortable I had a good walk about that with them they're very lightweight which is what I wanted but they still got a bit, bit of support around the edges which I also wanted but really nice breathable fabric on the top they are Quetcha or Quetua pronounce that how you will and they are NH 500 they did them in half sizes as well, which is brilliant. And they are in, designed for intensive use, so everyday walking. And they've got, they were the grippiest of all of the ones in the range, uh, for that range as well. So, and although they do remind me a little bit, the shape of them remind me a little bit of duck, p duck bill platypus. <laughs> but they're kind of cute and I like them. And I like the little um, pop of pink in the laces as well. I just, yeah, I was really pleased with them. And then I got some, Fairly cheap and cheerful walking socks as well. They're also Quetua or Quetua. And I only got the beginner ones. So, because I wanted something really quite um, grippy but lightweight. And a bit lower down my leg for summer walking. And I got them in the pink and grey because they kind of match the trainers. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I thought that was a bit of a bargain and I'm really pleased to finally have something for a bit of lighter weight walking. I always get nervous though on my first walk in new trainers in case I come back with blisters. It didn't happen with my Merrells so fingers crossed. Okay I've already got my seatbelt on. Well I do not recommend buying your lunch in Marks and Spencers. I think I've just spent more on my lunch than our meal for four people tonight and tomorrow night is going to cost. I'll show you what I bought. I mean, I know Marks and Spencers is nice and it's a bit of a treat, but this is ridiculous. It cost me £7.50 for my lunch. I got a bang bang chicken with a dip. I got Vegetable gyozas with some sauce, and you get three little gyozas, a yogurt, and a Diet Coke. £7.50. Honestly, I'm going to enjoy every last mouthful of it. I'm going to start with my gyozas, that's my starter. They're vegetable ones. That is nice. I'm trying to keep my head down because I think I got the last car parking space in the Marks and Spencer's car park and people are circling. 
I don't want to have to do that thing where you go, I'm not going, I'm staying, I'm picking someone up. Whoops, okay. I've had my bang bang chicken now as well, it was lovely. Have to say, that was pretty pricey for lunch, but it was very tasty. Now I know what you're thinking. How is she going to eat a yogurt in her car? You need a spoon for that. Ta-da! I keep in here. This is my little pouch from Joe Pickle Lily. I love it. And I have in here, I can't remember the, oh, here we go. It says bamboo, bamboo spelt with a U rather than double O at the end, organic. And it's a fork and a spoon. I very rarely find I have use for it, but I keep it in the car for such emergencies as needing to eat lunch in Marks and Spencer's car park. So this is Greek style vanilla live yogurt. Oh, it's nice. It's got actual vanilla bean seeds in it. Mm. I take it all back. Much better than as the lunch. It's turned into a bit of a stressful day. Uh, there was a lot of running around and then the appointment that Linio and I had was running behind and that made us late for the next thing, which means I was, I literally made it with about 30 seconds to spare to pick up my magic bag. So here's what, <gasps> what we got from the bakery. Oh my God, I want to see you. Uh, we need to get in the fridge. Coleslaw. Oh, that looks nice. Prawn mayonnaise salad. Mm. Tuna mayo and sweet corn. Dad will like that. That's the sweet oh, treat. This looks like a sweet treat. <gasps> Chop. You can't even see me. Look at this. Oh, oh. I'm literally eating that right now. Meat feast. That's definitely one for Dad. Ham and cheese, Lilia. Okay. Oh, 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 bread. bread. Oh, careful, careful, careful. The seeds on this. So we've got poppy seed, baguette. Oh, and two. Look oh. at those. No, no. Can Would you rather them? have tomato soup for your dinner? Yeah. So you can have the roll rather than an omelette. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? You and Dad. battery ran out so I, I don't know at what point it ran out but Phoebe and I <laughs> were halfway through looking at the stuff we got from the bakery and it was a very good haul. I think I've got something that would be good for me to take to work tomorrow. There was some really nice stuff there plus there was a massive donut which the girls can split between them and on the basis of getting some really nice looking crusty rolls um, we've switched our dinner plans from omelette to well there was two nice crusty rolls and one sort of sub but I think I'm still going to do omelette and salad for me and Dan because that's just, I, I feel like I need some, uh, plenty of veg. But Phoebe's going to go for soup and roll. Dan will probably have his roll tomorrow. Here I go again, giving you like the very minute details of what we're eating. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good haul. Not sure it was worth the stress of all the running around. Our appointment ran over. So we had to get from one side of town to the other side of another town. And it just became... A lot more stressful than it should have been, but I did make it. Um, but I've been running around now all day, really, and some of it's been really fun and some of it's been a bit stressful. And all day I felt really over hot, like really sweaty, really over hot, and I couldn't work it out. And then I looked at the weather. It's 20 degrees today. It was 11 yesterday. I just, I wasn't prepared for it. And I didn't even check this morning. I've just thought that I've been running hot today, but it turns out it's the weather. So that's stressed me out as well. I hate being hot. Uh, and it's now five o'clock. In an hour, I've got to take Phoebe up to her football training. And I just can't be bothered going for a walk. It's lovely weather to go for a walk, really, especially at this time of day, but I just, I can't fit it in. I'm gonna finish wrapping this present for my friend that needs to go tomorrow because her birthday is on Saturday. I was hoping to get this posted today, but the things didn't arrive until this afternoon. 
that'll be my walk tomorrow at work. I'll walk to the post office and back. So I like to have a purpose when I walk sometimes, if, especially when it's at lunchtime at work. I'm going to run Phoebe where she needs to be, clear around a bit, put my pyjamas on and have a bath. Obviously, I'll have a bath before I put my pyjamas on. The other way round would not work out very well. I've gone from being boiling hot to being a bit chilly. So I've got my uh, granny triangle wrap on that I made at Christmas out of my homespun house yarn advent, which as you can see is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I think this is one of my most favorite things that I've ever made. And you pointed the camera at me, you didn't make me. No, not you. This, what I'm worried. I was just you involving said, you in the this is one of the most favourite things I've ever made them. Pan the camera round to me. There's a chicken behind you. Yes, it's our safety... No one can see it, though. ...emotional support chicken. I want the emotional support chicken. This is Henela Bonham Carter. She was made for me by my lovely friend Kate. <laughs> And I love and adore her and she lives now on the sofa and she is so huggable and squishable. She really is an emotional support chicken. Anyway, I'm a bit pink in the face still from a bath. Um, and as you can see behind me here, so I, I am sending my friend a little parcel of goodies. And I always do book chocolate, book, no, hang on, no. Book chocolate wine. So I just get a little mini bottle. So I picked up this, but then when I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day, I found one that was in a really pretty bottle, but also, more importantly, the Marks and Spencer's one was in a plastic bottle, um, which is going to be a bit safer for popping in the post, which means I had one left over. So I'm going to drink it. I, I wonder if it's going to be a bit sweet for me, actually. Anyway. For me, and Dan, and Henela, see you tomorrow. Quick update, actually. I've just had some of that way too sweet for me. But Dan likes it, so he's gonna have it. Okay, you can now go. <laughs>